My name is Brandon Dozenkowski, and I'm an RBT at Brett DeNovi & Associates. Today's topic is a continuation of our Pop Culture ABA series, and we'll cover items G7, Section 2, G5, Section 2, B4, Section 1, and G4, Section 2 in the BACB 5th edition task list. We live in a world where ABA is all around us, and today we're going to dive in on how our pop classics might contain a little more than just a feel-good story. For the purpose of this video, we'll be discussing a cult classic from a galaxy far, far away. Today's video is on Star Wars and examples of hidden ABA principles within the Force. Now I know what you're thinking. Odds are, there aren't that many examples of ABA within Star Wars. But like a wise man once said, never tell me the odds. We'll start off with shaping. Shaping is defined as the process of systematically and differentially reinforcing successive approximations to a terminal behavior. Shaping is a technique in ABA that involves breaking down a complex behavior into smaller, more manageable steps, and reinforcing each step until the desired behavior is achieved. Essentially, when we are speaking about reinforcing or rewarding the attempt, as long as the attempt is close to the desired response. An example of shaping in Star Wars is when we see how the Jedi Order uses shaping to train their Padawans in the ways of the Force. This is shown throughout Star Wars and how the Jedi gradually teach their Padawans how to control their emotions, use their Force for telekinesis, mind control, and eventually become full-fledged Jedi Knights. The Council provides a criteria of mastering successful approximations of Force used to their shaping responses from Padawans to Jedi Knight. A perfect example of Jedi's using shaping in The Empire Strikes Back when we see Luke in the jungles of Dagobah. He is being taught by Yoda to harness the Force. Luke is instructed to lift rocks, but he's hesitant in lifting the larger rocks. Yoda trains him to lift the smaller rocks until he has mastered the step of lifting the smaller rocks. Yoda then tells him to move up in size until he is finally able to lift the larger rocks. And he is gradually moving up to the larger objects with force. In this example, he is using shaping to break down the expectation and master the ability to lift the smaller object until Luke was able and capable of lifting the heavier objects, thus demonstrating the repertoire in using the Force. Now we can talk about modeling. Modeling can be defined as teaching technique in which the teacher demonstrates a desired behavior or response to a learner. We can see a great examples of modeling and how the Empire trains stormtroopers. The Empire uses modeling, a technique in ABA that involves demonstrating a behavior for someone to imitate to train their stormtroopers. We could see this a little bit more clearly in Star Wars movies and in the TV show Star Wars Rebels when we get a glimpse of the stormtroopers training regiment. They use holographic simulations to demonstrate how to perform tasks. We see them being shown video models in the form of simulations. These contain the correct responses of how to shoot how to walk, how to march, what to wear, how to fight, and the standard practice of how to be a soldier, thus demonstrating modeling. Next up, we have some good old positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is defined involving the addition of stimulus, which increases the likelihood that a behavior will occur again in the future. Positive reinforcement is sprinkled throughout all the Star Wars movies here and there if you know where to look. We see this in Anakin's mentorship with Obi-Wan, when Rey is trained by Leia, when Luke is trained by Yoda, and those are just to name a few. A pretty clear example is going back to Luke's journey on Dagobah in Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. We find Luke Skywalker as he arrives on the distant planet in search of a teacher. Yoda provides Luke with positive attention and affirmations as he is strapped to Luke's back. Run! Jedi's strength flows from the Force. Luke is not confident in his ability at first, but through the use of Yoda's positive attention and verbal praise, Luke continues to engage in the training that Yoda has set forth. The positive attention that Yoda provides is what makes Luke continue to train, listen, and engage in the behaviors of training and increasing the growth in using the Force, thus demonstrating Luke's continuation of those behaviors due to positive reinforcement. And finally, we will talk about fading. 
Fading refers to decreasing the level of assistance needed to complete a task or activity. There are so many great uses of fading in every movie that we could pick from. As a Jedi goes through their training, they are taught and prompted at a most to least hierarchy. As a Jedi masters skills and develops control of their force, their Jedi masters will fade back their prompts and instruction to allow them to complete training independently. A great example of this is in Star Wars Attack of the Clones when Anakin goes through his Jedi training with Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan can be seen providing more prompts and instruction to Anakin earlier on in the movie. Be mindful of your thoughts, Anakin. They betray you. You've made a commitment to the Jedi Order, a commitment not easily broken. He receives more frequent feedback and is not able to independently perform his desired behavior. As his training continues and Anakin's skills grow, we could see Obi-Wan fading his prompts and his constructive feedback. The system of fading allows Anakin to admit behaviors that match the desired behaviors of what a Jedi Knight could be. You are strong and wise, Anakin, and I am very proud of you. I have trained you since you were a small boy. I have taught you everything I know, and you have become a far greater Jedi than I could ever hope to be. Obi-Wan began his training with the most amount of prompting and faded as he saw Anakin's mastery of the skills. This led Obi-Wan to reduce the amount of prompts and corrective feedback, as well as pairing it with the positive reinforcement. If you disagree with any of these examples or would like to add some of your own, please drop it in the comments. Keep an eye out for more pop culture related content and if you'd like to see something more specific, drop that in the comments as well so we can make it happen. Thank you for watching and as always, please like and subscribe to help keep disseminating the science.